Wilson Universe. Hey, hey, it's my people of Awesome. How you all doing? Hope you all have a great day wherever you are in the world. It's me, Awesome, along with Groovy Historian. Hey there, it's the Groovy Historian. Back over to Awesome now. Well, basically, we're doing a video about AK. This is a preview and also the predictions for the FIFA 2014 World Cup this summer. Now, we're going to go from groups, like, and as we know, it goes from group, group A to group H, so quite a few. And this, uh, as you know, this video could be in two parts, just to let you know. But also, we're just going to get to it. This is the first one, and this is group A, and I will say the teams, and then I'll go to Groovy and say his opinion, and then I'll say my opinion. All right, here we go, guys. All right, group A contains Brazil, the hosts, Croatia, Mexico, and Cameroon. Groovy, what do you think? I think it's going to be Brazil and Croatia because they both got a strong side. Croatia seems to be improving all the time, and Brazil always been the favourites at home. Especially, it's going to be quite different as well. Your on your side? Well, I think definitely the host Brazil will definitely take top place. You know, they'll probably win every match. Only Croatia might give them a match. Uh, Croatia definitely second because the other two. No offense to Mexico and Cameroon, they're just not at the level of Croatia, especially in European side. So, as we've just said it, and um, so Brazil and Croatia, and what do you think? How far will both teams like? How are they contenders for the both Croatia and Brazil? I guess Brazil probably go maybe to semis or even finals. To be fair, but Croatia could go quarter final or first round knockout. But it's quite hard to say at the moment because we don't know what other teams are going to qualify. If it is, yeah, basically that's my thoughts really. You? I think um, I think Brazil definitely are definitely one of the contenders to win it. They've got a great history, great squad, great manager, and uh, also former Chelsea manager by the way, Scolari. And um, yeah, basically, I think they, you know, especially with Neymar, one of the hottest things on earth right now. I think yeah, you can definitely Brazil definitely one of the big boy favorites to win it. Hmm. Croatia, I think either quarterfinals or the last sixteen. Alright, now I'm going to go to Group B. This is interesting. Spain, the champions. Holland, Chile, and Australia. So, Ruby, what do you think? Well, my thoughts on this is quite big, actually. Spain's going to go on top, of course, because they've got the, this hot striker that's going to be playing for them at the moment, Diego Costa. Because he's changed from Brazil to Spain. I highly rate him because he's doing really well at Athletic Madrid. And I think Holland will go second because they've got quite a few good youngsters and experienced players, so it's quite mix and match, I guess. Those two really for top two. What do you think? I think, yeah, you're right. Spain will definitely take the top place. They're just, you know, very solid still. They've still got a lot of the experience through the years of the Euros and everything. Uh, they've got Xavi, they've got Iniesta. As you said, Diego Costa is now joining, you know, to join up with Villa and Torres, who haven't been that great this year. In the last few years, well, Vio because of his leg break, Torres is just lacking a lot of confidence. But you know, I still I think Spain will be one of the big ones, definitely to you know go on and win the tournament as usual. And uh, Holland, yeah, you were right; they've got some great, really good youngsters coming in. Probably not as great as the team they've had for the last few tournaments, but they've got Schneider and Robin and people like that in there. So yeah, I think they'll definitely finish second. Chile and Austria, I think Chile will probably come closest. That's why they'll finish third. And uh, Australia definitely bomb. Where do you think uh, the other team, the top two, will go in the tournament? Oh well, Spain because they got such depth at the moment. They got three, four world class keepers, and they got so many strikers as well. To be fair, if you in the league, you know, midfield is awesome at the moment. To be fair, they could go all the way to semis, third place, or even first. You never know. But I would like them in the finals. To be fair, because they got an interesting team. And Holland could go quarterfinals or even semis, but it all depends because they're missing goes because they always seem to not really perform in World Cup, but semi fight like Europeans, World Cup's really good, but see how it goes because it's not like how they played last time, so it's a bit of a change now, I guess. What do you think now? Well, you know, as I said, I think Holland, I, didn't, I said about Spain, but I'll say about Holland. Holland, I think, quarterfinals. Yeah, four finals. Um, I think their side's just too young at the moment, and they lost a lot of great players they had to get to the you know things like the semi-finals and finals. So yeah, 
Alright, Group C. This is kind of interesting because this is quite open. Colombia, Greece, Ivory Coast, and Japan. So, Groovy, what do you think? Well, my thoughts for Colombia are they got quite a strong team, to be fair. They've been improving in recent years, especially for strikers and midfielders. So, they'll probably go top. And it could, I reckon Greece could go second as well, to be fair. They've got a decent squad, European squad. They've got a bit of experience on international stage as well. And over the years, they have come up with some good players these days, especially. To be fair, I think those two, to be fair. What do you think? I think, uh, yes, I think you make a great point. I think I think this is going to be a really open group. I think Ivory Coast, for me, will go through because you know, they've got a lot of great players like Yaya Torre, Drogba. You know, there's loads in there that are so really good, especially Yaya Torre, he's on fire right now. Um, Greece, I think the only reason I would say they, they do can do it because they, I'm not saying it's over Colombia, I'm saying they can because they're European and European countries always do pretty well. Uh, Colombia, yes, they've got Falcao. They've got a lot of really good players. They've been growing. I think basically def I think um, either it's going to be Colombia or Ivory Coast who go top. But those two is definitely the top two. Now, Groovy, who do you think how far do you reckon those two can go? Well, I don't know. I was saying maybe for Colombia could go quarterfinals, but maybe even first round knockout stage because it's quite hard. Greece... Maybe first round knockout stage, possibly quarterfinals, but it all depends who they get really, so it's quite hard to really say from now on. But good luck to them. Ivory Coast could go quarterfinals as well because they have got quite a strong striking squad, to be fair. What about you? Um, I think that Ivory Coast will, and also Colombia, I think they'll both fall at the last 16. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I think they'll both fall there because there's so many good teams, so that's why. Okay, Group D, this is the group of death, one of the big ones. Oh, yeah. And I think to many, uh, to many English fans and British fans, this is definitely going to be a big one. Uruguay, Costa Rica, as we know, England, and Italy. So, wh what do you, who do you reckon this group's going to go? I'm not going to lie, Italy's going top because they seem to be on fire, especially the amazing youngsters they got up front for striking force, and they got... You know, really good experience in midfield. They got one of the best goalkeepers. Buffon it seems to be on fire. Juventus defenders are really well. Balotelli's on point for striking for international stage, of course. I don't know about league now, but they really have got a strong force to reckon with. So they're going top. Uruguay, well, one of the clubs, international clubs, they do very well. So I therefore, I think they're cement second. No problem. Because the reason why, because they play as a group, they got some individual good players, and as well, the players hold together. You never know, England could go second if they play properly. They do have the potential, but it's quite hard to grasp them because of the manager. They do have depth, but it's just, as I said, it's all about chance and if they perform on the day properly. What do you think there? I think, um, for me, as you said, Italy, yes. Italy's generation is so good right now with the experience of Pirlo, Buffon and also I think you know that Balotelli who's one of the hottest things right now El Shahari one of the rising stars there is just so many good players in there and I think they're gonna they've got solid defense as well so I think yeah I think they've got a chance of uh, they'll definitely finish top and I think they've got a chance of doing bigger things I'll get to that in a minute but second is Uruguay because mainly they've got a good team they're probably the third best team in South America and I would say the big reason is Cavani and Suarez that's his fault and England to finish to finish third and Costa Rica to finish bottom to lose all their matches so what do you think bro is uh, going to be you know everything like who's going to go where the top two well Italy, I'm not going to lie, they're one of my favourites as well, personally, because they're their squad and their strength and depth as well, and the youngsters as well. I reckon they could go finals, semi-finals, even third place, so I'm expect them to be around the fourth places, really. And for Uruguay, possibly quarter-finals, I'm not going to lie, because they've got such a striking power of force. They're both from point in European, you know, top goal scorer Suarez in the English League, you know. Cavini top goal scorer in France at the moment, so you know he's been quite tremendous at the moment. So probably those two go that, about that far, I guess. So, what about do you think, Wilson? I think you know I think Italy 
will semifinals. Yeah, I think semis. They could make the semis, definitely quarterfinals, but they could make the semis, definitely. Because of their solid defense, and they've got some great counter-attacking in that team, but especially with Pirlo and Mikisio with some intelligence in the middle. But also, I think Uruguay quarterfinals, but I think this is why they only end up at the quarterfinals, because mm. their defense is weak. That's why. So, that's where, for me, they end up. And now, Group E. Switzerland, Ecuador, Honduras, and France. What do you think, Ruby? How's that going to go? For me, France is quite on fight at the moment because they've got Benzema, Ribéry, Lores, and all these other, Nazri as well, but I heard he's injured at the moment, not too sure. But they've got a lot of Macy's squad. As they got said, they've got the international strength and experience, and they've got the long-term altitude of all these many players, world-class players as well. So I reckon they'll go top. Second, to be fair, Switzerland is quite a good European club. They always come up with decent players as well. They've got quite a few players that play in big European clubs as well. So therefore, they could go second as well, I reckon. And Ecuador, Ecuador possibly a third because South America has always got a little bit of edge. They've come up with some pretty decent strikers like Benintez, if you heard of him. He's quite formidable. Basically, those are my thoughts. What do you think, Wilson? I think France to get definitely for top, you know, especially with you know the likes of Benzema. Well, Nazari, as we know, picked up a, a injury. Uh, I think it was he damaged his ligaments in, in his knee in the Newcastle game today, and uh, so I, we're going to see probably in the next few days if how it's going to affect him, his injury, because that's a bad time to mix up, to get injured because the World Cup. And look at Pierre Walcott, you know, he just got injured. He got injured in the uh, Tottenham FA Cup game, so. Um, and look, he's out for six months, so he misses the World Cup, you know, sadly for him. But um, as we know, you know, I, I have a feeling that France will definitely top it. They've got Ribéry, oh my God, he's one of the best players in the world. Benzema, one of the best strikers in the world. Hugo Lloris, there's a lot of good players.